Hello, Celeste here. Today I want to um, just briefly explain to a beginner, hopefully this helps, what is a slab, what tools primarily we use in making any of the um, items that we can make with clay, mostly the ones that we're looking, the seeing lately are jewelry, either earrings or necklaces or bracelets with beads, um, statues. Uh, um, there's a lot of things you can make with clay, but how to condition it and how to prepare it depends on the packing or the clay that you're using. Now, I want to show what are the clays that are mostly the ones used for the yearly or the um, earrings or necklaces. Um, a lot of the brands that a lot of people are using, professionals are using, are either uh, Sculpey comes in different, different, uh, Styles is Primo, Soufflé, there's, but its brand is Sculpey. So just um, not the Sculpey 3, but the Professional or Primo or um, Female Professional or the Effect. And Cernet, there's a lot of different colors. Cernet is very good. Um, I got this one and I pretty much like, like it to make canes with. Um, so these are the um, ones that I use the most. This color here, it's a mix. A mix of red, yellow, black, red, white, cernet, translucent. It was just a little bit of everything that I had around and I mixed it and came out with this color. What I want to show is, it's conditioned, it's soft, squeezable. See, you can like pretty much when you bend it, doesn't break. It's not sticky, sticky. It doesn't leave any residue on your hands. So it's pretty good. What I do is most of the time I roll my clay. Okay. And it's good to use a surface like glass or a, um, a glossy tile from the hardware store. So you can search around for things that you can um, use to work on for the clay i'd rather do the glass this is one of the glass from um uh i, I got it on amazon but anyways um the clay needs to be soft now we use i i got this from the bakery section at walmart but um it's pretty much a, a hand roller pin from bakery for baking so this is one way that you can do it, I'd rather roll it, right? And there's also a tool called a, um, it's called a, a blade for the, the clay. So it's a clay knife, but it's a blade. It's like really thin. Um, so it really cuts in between. I got a little tiny one. There's ones that are that are this long and it all depends on how comfortable you feel like working with it so just flat it this here are measurements this is a two two centimeters from the glass and this is a one so these are good um good um helpers for you to have some kind of edge another thing is when you lift the clay after you do this after you roll it don't pull the clay out always use your blade to scrape it off from the glass it's a clean clean um, removal and it also helps the back to be very smooth and um, soft okay so that's the way we pull the clay out from the surface when you want to just lift it 
another thing that I want to show you is when you want to say um, work more into like a big project or it, if you feel comfortable with the roller it's fine a lot of people don't have um, the one to uh, do clay more often like say if in an everyday situation you would possibly need or would like to use a pasta machine and this is what it's called this is a pasta machine it's it just has different levels one two three all the way up to seven which is the thinnest and one being the thickest so and it's the the brand you would find a lot of people suggested a lot of different brands I found one that really works for me. It's called Pastor Pro. It's like an antique, an Atlas machine, or it was from the same company, but years ago. So I found this pasta machine to be pretty good. Um, so you just put the pasta, the clay in it, through the rollers, and it comes flat on the bottom. Okay, so. This is what comes out. It just it gives you a different thickness of what kind of what uh, thick of this lab you want. For terms of clay, this is what we say slab. So when someone says, "Oh, I made a slab today. I decorated it. This is what I mean. It's a slab of clay." This is the slab of clay. And a cane is. This is a cane. A cane is something that is either round or circle. And it has a design. It could be um, any design that you want to create with it. This is a cane. See, either simple designs, but it's a swirl, but it's a cane. Okay, short, longer, you can make a bigger cane. Sometimes we just mix colors together and you just make a plug. Plug is, you just do this, a plug. You push it and this is a plug. It has, for now, no design or something. You can use it like that if you want. I mixed a bunch of colors together from scrap clay and I'm playing with this to make it a plug I just have a round shape of clay and it's a plug okay plug cane um, either round or square slab okay and it's pretty much searching Search on the website, on the on the Google. Search on your your phone. Search on every. There's a lot of information that you can find um, about clay. There's a lot of websites that are just completely an encyclopedia full of information. Um, I wanted to share this with you because when I started a couple of uh, months or maybe last year. Um, I didn't know what that meant and I was surely enough thinking um, I, I, I know that there's there are some who are starting and also do not know what it means and I'm always sharing Tector Slab in my group Facebook group Polymer Slabs tutorials but someone asked me what is a slab well this is a slab it's just a piece of a slice of clay. We make it flat by using a roller or a pasta machine. So um, hopefully that would be a help for any beginner and then uh, I also suggest search on YouTube, search on your website, search all of the topics that have to do with clay so that you can have a better idea on how to work with it, how to condition it, what are the requirements for the baking. They usually come in the packet on the back. 
um, each packet has a different, like each brand has a different requirement or settings for baking and preparation. Like this is 30 minutes per uh, a fourth, a quarter of um, a clay. And it's at 275. So everyone, every company has a different setting for the baking as well. There's also a lot of professionals who share their um, insight on their clay making. I'm not a professional, so I am just telling you the basic of what I have learned so far. I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in another video.